Everyone has seen embedded videos on the web, but how do you create these videos? If you're capturing content directly from your computer, screen capture software may be all you need. If you're using video from a camcorder to demonstrate a project, you may need other sorts of software to render the video first. We're not going to talk about camcorders and such today. Rather, we're going to ca concentrate on screencasting. So let's get started. Whether videos are hosted on your own site, like this one is, or streamed from a site like YouTube, they all operate in basically the same way. A small media player is pictured on the web page. The viewer just clicks on the controls to watch the video. These videos are amazing marketing tools, and there's been an explosion of interest in them. The question is, how do you create your own content and your own videos? And then, how do you produce them so that they'll stand out from the millions of other videos now popping up everywhere? The first thing you need, of course, is the screencasting software itself. Camtasia Studio by TechSmith is the number one choice for most professionals. In addition to the basic screen capture, it includes video and audio editors and a very easy to use menu maker. It outputs video in multiple formats including Flash, WMV for the Windows Media Player, AVI, QuickTimes MOV, and M4P for video iPods and the new iPhone. However, even with all that, the real selling point of Camtasia for most users is TechSmith's TSCC codec, which produces extremely sharp video in a very small file size. The only drawback to Camtasia is its price. It runs around $300. The first thing you'll realize as you make screencasts is that you need to reduce the size of the area you're capturing. A full screen capture of something that would fit on a 17-inch monitor will create an immense file. It'll be slow to load, and it may require awkward side-to-side -side scrolling for some viewers. So you'll want an easy way to resize your window to 800 by 600 or 460 by 480 or maybe even smaller. The best tool for that is a free utility called Sizer. Once downloaded and installed, it sits quietly until you right-click on the title bar and the Sizer menu pops up. You can define exact dimensions. Click on the size you want and your window is instantly and precisely resized to any dimensions you specify. Audacity is a free audio editor. Camtasia has a built-in audio editor which can get the job done for simple voice narration. If you're adding sound effects and music, you'll want even greater control in Camtasia than their editor provides. Here's Audacity. It can be a tad overwhelming at first, especially if you've never done audio editing, but you don't need to master all the complexities of sound recording to edit the narration of a screencast. You'll just want to cut out mistakes or even out sound levels. The built-in filters or add-ons can handle those tasks easily. You just import your file into Audacity and then you can experiment. The last tool I want to mention is GetMouse. As you're recording your screencast, you'll occasionally need to pause and move your cursor to another area or another window. When you resume the screencast, it can be very difficult to get the cursor back to the exact original position. With Get Mouse, you simply click Control G before you move your cursor to get the current position. Do whatever you need to do in whatever window, and when you come back to your screencast window, click Control P, and the mouse will automatically snap to its exact last position. This is very simple and extremely handy. So these are the tools you'll need to get started. Except for Camtasia, they're all free, and even Camtasia has an unrestricted 30-day trial. So there's no reason to wait. Download them today. You can find all three that we discussed here at Shores Media, where a Camtasia enthusiast has collected the links. This is Danny Byrne for Ghost Lake Media. Thank you for watching.
Oh, 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 oh,